Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to be doing my very first heat transfer vinyl project with my Cricut Maker and I'm going to be placing these white letters on black sweatshirts for a gift. So one of them is going to say Big Sister and the other one is going to say Little Sister. This font I just got from Cricut Design. It's already on there which is convenient. I went ahead and sized the letters to about 6.35 in length and I'm not quite sure what the height is, but I think it's about a little over three inches. So I'm gonna click Make It. And then I'm going to mirror the image because heat transfer vinyl, you need to flip it around because when you place the heat transfer vinyl, you're actually placing the shiny side down, which is upside down. And then I'm gonna press Continue. My Cricut Maker is already connected. I'm going to select Everyday Iron-On which is right here. And then it reminds you to mirror your image and then make sure that your iron on material is facing shiny side down. I love that it prompts this because I'm sure if it didn't, everyone would forget. I'm not gonna change the pressure because the blade is fairly new. I've only used it for a couple of projects. You don't need any other tools besides the five point blade and then you can load it in. I bought a pack of black and white heat transfer vinyl from Amazon. I'll link it down below. I already placed the heat transfer vinyl on my Cricut mat upside down. Here are the sweatshirts I'm going to be placing the letters on. This is a toddler size 2T and then here is a medium size for a six year old but I went ahead and got medium so she could wear it for a little bit longer. I ended up getting just the Cricut Easy Press Mini because I'm not really doing any large projects right now. I'm just doing some t-shirts and maybe some hats, some socks. I'm not quite ready to venture out into much bigger projects. Once I get this down, I'll be purchasing either the six by seven or the nine by nine. And also I forgot to mention in the HTV packet, they included this really cool, I think it's Teflon paper that you use to iron on. You place it on top for protection, which is really nice. I already turned on my Easy Press, so it is ready for me to use. Now I'm going to load in my HTV. Press the load button and cross my fingers. <laughs> now the Cricut button is flashing. That means it is ready to design. The project is all done. It says to unload it. Now it's white so you can't see any of the cut lines but I can see it in person hoping that it cut all the way through. Now I'm going to take this off and then see if I can weed it properly. I cut out the letters from the HTV sheet because I want to make sure that I save as much of this material as possible so I can use it for other projects. So that process was very easy. It was so easy to pull off the HTV off of the lettering. So now I'm going to cut this down so it just says big sister on one and little sister on the other and I'm going to try ironing it on for the first time. Here I have my sweatshirt and the little sister sign here. I already measured it. It's about an inch and a half from the top and it's right in the middle between these uh, sleeves here. All right, I'm gonna place this sheet on top of it carefully, not to move it. So it says here, medium temperature, 25 seconds, constant movement and light pressure. And then flip and press for 15 seconds and do a warm peel. guys this looks so good I'm so excited look at how good that looks there's nothing left on the HTV sheet it's all on the sweatshirt so now I'm going to do the big sister sweatshirt so cute after watching so many YouTube videos on how to do this correctly, I finally finished my first heat transfer vinyl project on sweatshirts and I have to say, this is so, <laughs> my son's right here playing. This is so easy. If you have been contemplating getting a Cricut machine because you're too scared, 
honestly, if I can do it, you can do it. So I am so happy to be gifting these sweatshirts to my friends, two daughters that are celebrating their birthdays. I hope they love this. Stay tuned for more Cricut, <laughs> for more Cricut projects. I'll be doing some transfer vinyls onto some tumblers and I'm so excited because this is such a great way to gift people, customize some things to make it very special. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.